Hello girls and boys. Don't worry, it's just me, Mrs Boyd. I thought this week, with the special day that's coming up, World Book Day, we should have a look at songs and music that help tell a story. So let's have a look at some of the songs that we know and love. Do you know who I'm meant to be? Here's a clue. Would you like an apple? That's right, I'm the Wicked Witch from Snow White. Let's warm up with the alphabet. We all know this one. Ready and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well done. Let's have a look at this version now with a slightly different tune. And it also has a part in it that goes like this. Oh, it's easy. Oh, it's easy. So easy. So easy. To learn your alphabet. To learn your alphabet. If you sing this song through every day. If you sing this song through every day. You simply won't forget. You simply won't forget. Okay, now the alphabet part is a different tune to what we had before. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, W, X, Y, Z. Well done. Let's try and put all of that bit together. One, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Let's try with the music. The alphabet song. Easy to learn your alphabet. 
Okay, now let's have a look at a song that I used to sing when I was a little girl at school a long, long time ago. Some of your grown-ups and grandparents might know this one as well. Okay, so this is a song about reading and writing and back in the days when you used to use ink to write on paper, black ink onto paper. Okay, it goes like this. The ink is black. The ink is black. The page is white, the page is white. Together we learn to read and write. Together we learn to read and write. Read and write, read and write. It goes like this. The ink is black, the ink is black. The page is white, the page is white. Together we learn to read and write. Together we learn to read and write, read and write, read and write. Next bit. Now a child can understand, now a child can understand. This is the law of all the land, this is the law of all the land, all the land, all the land. Then you go back to the beginning. The ink is black. The ink is black. The page is white. The ink is black. The page is white. Together we learn to read and write. Read and write. Together we learn to read and write. Read and write. Well done. Now there's a new verse. Let's have a look. The words change slightly to we love. Show me your heart to read, open the book, we love to write. We read by day and then by night, then by night. Great, so now you know the words and the tune, let's give it a try with the music. The ink is black. <laughs> Together we learn to read and write, read and write. Now a child can understand, this is the law of all the land, all the land. The ink is black, the page is white. Together we learn to read and write, read and write. We love to read, we love to write, we read by day and then by night, then by night. Now a child can understand, this is the law of all the land, all the land. We love to read, we love to write, we read by The page is white. Together we learn to read and write, read and write. Now a child can understand. This is the law of all the land, all the land. The ink is black. The page is white. Together we learn to read and write, read and write. We love to read, we love to write, we read by day and then by night, then by night. Now a child can understand, this is the law of all the land, all the land. The ink is black, the page is white, together we learn to read and write, read and write. Well done. 
Okay, this next one's often a favourite one for many people. It's Once Upon a Time. So in this story, we've got quite a few characters and quite a few actions to join in with. So don't worry if you can't get all the words in, but I'm sure you'll give it a good go. Okay, the first bit we need to do is open our books up because it goes, once upon a time, there was a wicked witch. We're gonna do a witch's hat for that. Once upon a time, there was a wicked witch. A wicked witch who went like this. What does a wicked witch sound make? <laughs> That's what wicked witches do. Now the tune goes a bit like this. Once upon a time, there was a wicked Wicked witch, a wicked witch who went like this. Try it. Once upon a time there was a wicked witch, a wicked witch who went like this. <laughs> That's what wicked witches do. Oh, I like your wicked witch sound. Right, which other characters are we going to meet on this in this story? Oh, a hungry giant. Can you rub your tummies? You're so hungry. And can you use a big giant's voice? It goes like this. Once upon a time there was a hungry giant. A hungry giant who went like this. And what does a giant do? <gasps> Fee, fi, fo, fum. Can you try that? Fee, fi, fo, fum. That's what hungry giants do. Well done. Who's on our next bit of the story? It's the princess. And this princess, oh, she, oh she's so sad. Oh dear. So we've got to be sad. Once upon a time there was a sad princess. A sad princess who went like this. Oh, woe is me. Oh, woe is me. That's what sad princesses do. <laughs> well done. Next we have... It's a frog. Oh, and this poor frog, they're calling it ugly. I don't think it's ugly. Bless it, but never mind. Let's have a try. Once upon a time there was an ugly frog. Can you show me a frog face? An ugly frog who went like this. Burp, burp. That's what ugly frogs do. What's next? Oh, oh, it's the big bad wolf. Once upon a time there was a big bad wolf. A big bad wolf who went like this. Oh, oh. That's what big bad wolves do. I think it's time for the music. Once upon a time. Get those story books ready. Once upon a time there was a wicked witch. A wicked witch who went like this. <laughs> That's what wicked witches do. Ready for that hungry giant? Open those books up. Once upon a time there was a hungry giant. A hungry giant who went like this. Fee, fi, fo, fum. That's what hungry giants do. <gasps> Who's next? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear me. Ready? Once upon a time there was a sad princess. A sad princess who went like this. <gasps> That's what sad princesses do. Here's that frog. Ready? Open those books. Once upon a time there was an ugly frog. An ugly frog who went like this. That's what ugly frogs do. 
frog impression. Here's the wool. Open those books up. Once upon a time there was a big bad wolf. A big bad wolf who went like this. Ow! Ow! That's what big bad wolves do. I'll tell it. Now I know this next one's a favourite for many of us. It's got lots of words, so don't worry if you can't fit them all in. But have a go at putting the actions in. And there's a bit I know you can do. And that's, he's a gruffalo, gruffalo, gruffalo. He's a gruffalo, gruffalo, gruffalo. He's a gruffalo, he's a gruffalo. Okay, let's look at the words. So first of all, describing our Gruffalo, he has terrible tusks and terrible claws. Try that. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, he's the Gruffalo. Well done. Now, how are we going to describe him? He has knobbly knees. Can you wiggle your knees? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, he's the Gruffalo. What next? His eyes are orange, his eyes are orange. His tongue is black, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. He has purple prickles all over his back. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo again. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. And are you ready for the big one? He's a The Gruffalo. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo. And a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo, Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo. He's the Gruffalo. Well done. Okay, so in this next one, a squash and a squeeze, 
It is really, really wordy. So don't worry about getting all of those words in if you can't, just enjoy the song. But there's definitely a bit you could join in with that keeps coming in again and again. It's the chorus and it goes like this. Wise old man, won't you help me please? Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And the tune goes, wise old man, won't you help me please? Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. So every time that bit comes in, see if you can join in. Okay, good luck. Enjoy. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chair and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. She said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hand, said the wise old man. Take in my hand, what a curious plan. Well, my hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was broken for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat, said the wise old man. Taking my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg. Then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be. It was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your pig, said the wise old man. Taking my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in the pig who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cried, Stop, I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your cow, said the wise old man. Taking my cow, what a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig. Then jumped on the table and tapped at a jig. The little old lady cried, heaven's alive. It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out and down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man. Please, my house is a squash and a squeeze. Take the ball round, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better at last, I can sneeze again. She shooed out the boat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She hopped and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was really for five, it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to cross. There's plenty of room in my house and now she's full of chronics and fiddle-dee-dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze, yet she's full of
If you've enjoyed listening and singing along to these World Book Day songs, why not try my playlist, World Book Day, on my YouTube channel, Mrs Boyd for Music.